The presidential office's sleepover program is back. From September to December, 15 groups of participants from 12 countries will stay overnight at the presidential office building. The first participant is Patrick Paulini, an award-winning Slovakian filmmaker and photographer. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang met Paulini to find out if he's looking forward to exploring Taiwan. Hello. Yeah, I'm Patrick. Are, nice to meet you. It's a big pleasure yeah. for me. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm Vice President Lai Ching Nice to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Charlie, Patrick. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Vice President Lai ching and Secretary General to the President Lin Jialong greet Patrick Paulini, an award-winning Slovakian filmmaker and photographer. The traditional uh, beverage here. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's called winter Thank you. melon tea. <laughs> he samples Taiwanese delicacies, including winter melon tea. Paulini will be spending three weeks in Taiwan and one night in the presidential office building. What do you think? <laughs> it's very nice. Very yeah, nice. it's very nice, okay. beautiful. <laughs> I like the architecture and... Yeah. Also, all, all the and other buildings. Polini is acclaimed for his vivid photography and videography works. His Instagram boasts over 80,000 followers and over 43,000 on YouTube. He said Taiwan is mysterious and that is why he wanted to visit and share it with his followers. He wants to showcase the beauty of Taiwan and its architecture and to learn about its traditions. I think this country is totally different than... Uh, than... Uh, Europe or different country in Asia because I love Asia and I travel a lot in Asia last years. I travel all the countries, Southeast Asia and uh, Japan as well. I never been in Taiwan and uh, before this trip I, I don't know nothing about Taiwan. I, I know that the capital city is Taipei but nothing more and that's why I, I I want to visit this country and know something more about this. And after that, I'm going to the mountains, to Sun Moon Lake and the mountain around. Uh, that's the places which I'm looking forward the most, probably because I, li I love the nature and mountains. I'm, do I'm doing a lot of hiking, so can't wait to be there and visit all the places. And also, I want to see and visit some small villages because I love people living in small villages in different parts of the world. After a hiatus of four years, the presidential office's sleepover program is back in action. The guests hail from 12 countries, including the U.S., Japan, Canada, France and South Korea. There are also participants from four new countries, Slovakia, Malaysia, the Netherlands and Vietnam. From September to December, 15 groups of participants will arrive in Taiwan to sleep over at the presidential office building. During the trip, they will also travel around Taiwan and create content about their experience. I'm doing a video for my videos for my followers. I'm trying to shoot the beauties of the country and also something with people, with local people. Uh, of course, local traditional foods drinks and uh, show people in my country something what is not so common in our country and in, in our lives. Spend a night at Taiwan's presidential office building is in its second year. Through this unique program, organizers hope to introduce the beauty of Taiwan to the world. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Tan Junhao in Taipei.